In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with the web dialog window control. So here I have an ASP.NET web application with a couple of Infragistics controls on here. So to start everything off, I'm using the Infragistics Web Script Manager, which actually wraps the Microsoft ASP.NET Ajax Script Manager. This gives me JavaScript IntelliSense support, as well as the ability to access the CDN that contains all of the Infragistics resources, such as the JavaScript CSS files and style files that are used to operate and run all the Infragistics NetAdvantage ASP.NET controls. I also have an access data source component that's pointing to an instance of my Northwind Microsoft Access database that exists in the app data folder. So this, the, the idea behind this video is just to show you um, some of the things you could do with the web dialog window and how easy it is to pop up a dialog that contains some information about anything on your form. And in this case, I want to select and activate a row in the grid and then click a button to launch the dialog with some information about the row. So what I'm going to do now to continue to show you this is go to the toolbox where the NetAdvantage tools are and locate the web dialog window. And it's right here, so I will double click on it. That will get an instance of it on the form. That will also add all the necessary references. So just by looking at this dialog window, you're able to resize it. And by default, you get a tool window, which allows you to essentially close it. So you can also set properties on here so that you can also enable the minimize, maximize um, buttons as well. So let's just get started by doing some simple things. I need to throw a label in here so that whenever I launch the form, I want to be able to kind of print the customer name in there. So I'm going to double click this and just give it a name. We'll call it the give it customer ID label so that way we can programmatically access it through an elegant name. And the other thing that we can do is set the font. Let's make the, the size much bigger so that we can see it in the video. Do extra large, super size. Okay, so and then again you could put whatever you want inside this this content area. So let's be a little bit more fun here and let's just put the infragistics for the ultra chart. So I'm going to double click the ultra chart and put that in there. I'll just make up some data as we go along just to make believe we're getting data from pertinent to the actual record that we're working with. So I'm just resizing the chart so that it fits within this fixed size window that I have here. So I'm going to double click on the button and you're going to see that I, I added just a little bit of simple code before so that I'm testing just to make sure that the web data grid does have an active cell. If you don't click on a cell or there's no active cell, it'll be null, then this subsequent code will fail. Then I'm pulling the customer ID of the active row. So that's just some code that shows you how to get to the active row. So then what I'll do is I just want to show you that the cool thing about working with the web dialog window is that whatever you put inside of the content section will be available to you within the scope of the page. So think of all the times where in the past you had to launch a separate ASPX page and you don't really have access to the controls on that form so you have to kind of pass data back and forth and do all that not with the web dialog windows because it's part of the form. So the customer ID label.txt, I'm just going to set it to the customer ID. So that takes care of that. And then I'm just going to create some data here. Just create some data that gets generated dynamically to populate the chart. I know there's some sample data in this infragistics namespace here. positive method returns a bunch of data that can be used by the chart. 
pretty handy if you want to build a proof of concept and you don't want to go fetch the actual data itself and we call data bind on the chart. Okay, so there's a few things we need to do before we run this application. So I'm going to click on the web dialog window itself, make sure it's selected here. And what I need to do is we need to actually set the window state to hidden. Otherwise, if you launch the application right now, the window will be shown and then the, the chart control will be there and it won't be assigned to any data and it'll just be in an indeterminate state without any data. So that's the main thing that we can do right now. So we need to set the window state initially to hidden. And then another line of code we want to do is after all this is done, we're going to set the window state to normal. And you can set it to one of these enumeration numbers. Normal, that's when it's kind of shown as we see it on the form before, then minimized, maximized. And hidden is what we start off with. Let's do normal. And let's take a look at some other properties while we're at it. So I'm going to now remember, because I just changed the view mode, Infragistics control developers were, were awesome in, in doing this. So that way, we know that the control is on the form and where we located it. So that way, we can click on it and get the properties in the property window. So the other thing we could do is, is as we examine some of these properties, movable is already set to true modal and non-modal. So if we set modal to true, it means that everything behind the dialog window cannot be interacted with and it will be styled such as we show that it's not enabled. The initial location is another nice thing that I like to set to centered so that way it shows up in the center of the screen. Let's take a look at the header itself. So the header can be customized as well. We could set caption text we do something like you could also programmatically change this if you want to customize it with the actual customer ID if you like. Okay, so let's run this application and let's see what we get. Okay, so now we have the grid. Let's just double check that if I click the button, we don't get anything because I wrote code that if the active record is null, then we don't do anything. Let's click on this first record, ALF key, and click this button. Now we have a chart loaded with ALF keys metrics. And again, remember, it's just a simple, we just left the default bar chart, and we're getting sample data that's not really related to the record, but the point is to just show you how easy it is to, to kick up a quick dialog window in your application. Then we have the label populated. So if I close this out and I scroll down, get a record down here, click on the button, and we have the dialog window showing this person's metrics over here. So again, it's very simple to work with the web dialog window. You have all this control, all this configuration capabilities within this control that allows you to easily put a dialog window in your app. So you could come up with that custom data entry form for your grid or just have another dialog window for other types of purposes, but you've seen how easy it was, and customizing it further is just as easy. So, thank you for watching. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.